Today's burning question is can you mix PLA and PLA plus? In this corner I have 3D Solutex standard brown PLA and in this corner I have the airy one PLA plus in white and I am looking for a very light beige so I have my mixture in the GTEC A10M I have it set to 80-20 80% white and 20% of the brown and I am going to print Sorpix this really nice Willie's Jeep body from Thingiverse let's get started
Okay, so there is the finished body. I've kind of sort of got the thing put together. It's not completely done yet. I need to put the black filament back in because I broke the steering wheel and have to print it again. And the little lenses, I am sorely tempted to print those over on the um, resin printer because it does do the tiny little thing so well. But since I am painting my full-size Jeep, my CJ7, this almond color, I thought it might be fun to do this in the almond color too. And I guess, you know, I could have painted it, but um, I thought it might be fun to, um, to see if I could get the mix right with brown and white on the Gitech A10M. And um, as you can see, let's see if I can show it to you, there's the, there's the two rolls of filament. I hope you can see that it um I think I got it pretty close honestly I think it turned out really good that is a 80% mixture of white and a 20% brown one thing that's been kind of curious to me about the about this mixed printer is the further you go and, and it printed in this orientation the further you go around to the side the brown is on the browner it gets and the further you go to the side the white is on, the whiter it gets. It's still not white, but it's definitely a much lighter brown than over on this side of the hood or this side of the battery. I've never quite understood what made it do that. Yes, the white is on that side and the brown is on that side, but it's going into a mixing chamber and coming out a single point for a nozzle. But it's always done that. It's always given me some strange banding and occasional blotching. But I mean, for the most part, I think it looks really good. And it seems as though the PLA Plus, the white P everyone PLA Plus, and the brown Solutech standard PLA did mix just fine. I'm going to finish this thing up because I actually think it looks pretty cool. Again, this is Sorpix, S-O-A-R-P-I-X. It's his model over on... Thingiverse and he has a YouTube channel as well and um, it's a pretty nice model as you can see the the chassis is fully detailed I haven't put the exhaust pipes in yet but um and I may never be honest with you because I don't plan on um, admiring it from underneath very often but you know what it does actually look pretty good hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you the next time please like and subscribe and I will see you later bye